Howdy, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption in 2024. I am so excited to play through this game with you all here on the channel. I have not played this game since probably its release in 2010, so it's been like 14 years, at least probably 12 years or so since I played because I may have played through it more than once, but it's been a while. I've forgotten so much that's happened. Obviously, I've played Red Dead Redemption 2 recently, but if you are looking to see how this game has aged here in 2024, this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's get into Red Dead Redemption. One, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. <laughs> apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What are 
What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Okay, and so I did want to first just kind of start off by saying with the Let's Plays that I do, I do want to let these games kind of breathe a little bit, so I don't want to talk too much over cutscenes or dialogue. I try to take myself out and and as many as possible. That way you can kind of just enjoy um, the nostalgia in the game, but I'll certainly talk through uh, the actual gameplay. It's, uh we just had somebody go tumble here at the saloon. Now, I'm going to really quickly change my, um, uh, I'm trying to change sensitivity down a bit. It is very, very um, sensitive. So I'm gonna change that down a bit. But yeah, my, my point again is uh, is to let these, these games breathe a little bit. So if, uh, if you want me to talk over the cutscenes, I guess I could, but I would think that people would not want to. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. You might be right, but I doubt it. I'd run it between the eyes. Quick, quick, Okay, Jake. Let's go ahead and see what uh what he's got here for us. I am playing this on the PS3. So I'm not playing it on, you know, any sort of emulator or jailbroken thing or anything like that. This is just straight on the PlayStation 3. And, um, you know, if you picked up a PS3 and got this game and wanted to play it again, this is how it would look and how it would play. So that's kind of the point of what I wanted to do with this video and this Let's Play and <clears throat> playing some of these older games is, you know, you can kind of see, you know, no mods, anything like that. I know that they have all those but I uh, don't really think that that's worth it there's probably plenty of videos on that on YouTube I'm just trying to show you guys what this looks like and plays like pretty much just out the box and right into the system here in 2024 now I do think it's kind of interesting how there's a lot of people who actually played Red Dead Redemption 2 first and then went back and played this game or maybe has never played this game but Red Dead Redemption 2 is the prequel to Red Dead Redemption 1 so you'll certainly hear some things about um, Red Dead Redemption 2 I'm not sure how many um, years apart they are though I mean, I ain't one to judge uh, so, a man the company he keeps, but... So, yeah, so we're looking for someone right now. This game still looks pretty good. Um, hopefully it's uh, showing up good for you guys on screen. 
sometimes with the older systems, you, you never know, but I try to get as much frames per second as possible and quality for you all. But yeah, well, this game still looks some, pretty man, solid. I mean, it was made in 2010, so obviously it's are. not, not like compared to, Damn. you know, girls, Red Dead Redemption 2 or anything now. like that. But when you think about for the time that it was made, very, very solid. Um, as Jake right now is, uh, I realize I talked over pretty much all that. He's taking us to someone right now, and I think he's trying to get us laid in the process, yeah, which yeah. Yeah. I guess I can oh, appreciate, but do you know we do him? know him for like five minutes. Name? Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Hmm. So yeah, so he got a telegram just basically saying company me here and you don't ask questions are you no nope. i'm just chewing the dog mister that's <laughs> how i am you very talkative no lies. trust me there's things you better off not knowing yeah this game just brings back you, Martin, so no many memories <laughs> as uh not coyotes are eating you'll see the fort when you get to the deer? top of this hill i think that was a deer All right, so we are at Fort Mercer. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Now we gotta go up to, <clears throat> excuse me, go up to Fort Mercer and see what this is all about. We're here to visit somebody. And now, I will say, I don't really remember much about this game. I do remember the ending, but not much else. So, pretty much everything that happens here, I'm, I'm gonna be surprised about unless it triggers something very, very deep in the back of my brain from 14 years ago, but I don't think it will. So, I'm gonna be. Reacting to a lot of this story the same way that you are if you've never seen this before. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John.
What exactly was he, did he John think was gonna happen there? It was like three on one, four on one. They have the high ground. They all have guns pointed at you. I guess we're gonna find out, but I'm not sure what he thought the best. What was the best case scenario there? I, I don't know, but from playing Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, John Marston is not necessarily um, what's the word? I guess the most tactical person <laughs> in the world. He uh, he's kind of a wild card, so. I guess he didn't think that one through too much. As we are at new friends and old problems here. This is the second mission in the game. Yeah, I just don't know what he was thinking was going to happen. But, hey, maybe he thought uh, he was going to be able to save old Bill. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> All right, so we are up, and Adam still got the bandage on our chest. <clears throat> and uh, now we got to go see old Bonnie. So this is like a, like a farm, I guess, like a cottage. I definitely wouldn't consider it a, like a town, although it is pretty big. We have the train coming across here, and we'll go see what Bonnie wants. Fifteen dollars to fix us up. You know, that's pretty nice of her. We're still holding the ribs there. But yeah, that's pretty nice of her. Fifteen bucks. When someone she doesn't know, she probably figures that we have some services that she, uh, that we could provide her, I guess. See? We pay back the $15. Oh, okay. Where are they at? Okay, so we can use Circle to focus on... Her, where she's trying to take us? Oh, okay, so we're over this way. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. Okay, so it's a ranch. I guess that is probably the best way to put it. Alright, so we're gonna follow her here on the horse. 
Running close to companion, hold X to match their speed. What a great feature that is. I always hate when you're like walking faster than somebody or you're driving faster than somebody or riding a horse faster than somebody even though you're supposed to be in dialogue store. with them. You won't find Parisian high fashion, I hate that. but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. So we got the general store over this way. Before. Yeah, so the he, you know, John's kind of thinking what I was thinking here. This is a pretty well done, pretty well constructed ranch. The horses. What I do you would think? say. I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect <laughs> you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First that impressions might be true. are hard to erase. That might necessarily that might be true. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got now finished. Picking it up bringing a little in bit. all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good <laughs> when it makes things better. Got the cows over here. This is quite an impressive ranch for whatever year we're in. But she's got a general store for some That's reason. The barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Barn here. Pretty impressive. We're still holding on to that side. Yeah. And here we are. And now back we're back. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints okay. from me, Miss McFarland. So yeah, pretty impressive. I will say, pretty impressive uh thing she's got on, going on here with the fam. Got a bunch of stuff in a pretty nice house too. I mean, look at the size of this house that she's in. As uh, she wants us to rest in her house. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. All on, right. So we just picked up our right. first... Well, I guess we already had a gun, but our first kind of longer range gun. Um, oh, also, I did want to say, too, I am going to be playing the Undead Nightmare, which I actually have never played. This, this, like I said, I played like 14 years ago, but um, I actually never played Undead Nightmare. I don't know why, but uh, I'm very excited to play that. I will play that probably once I finish this, so it might be a while, but um, I'm definitely going to play that. Looks like a ton of fun. Maybe I'll start it sooner. Thank you, Mr. Probably Marston. not, I feel but a lot I might. Along with me. I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger <laughs> itch and my feminine So yeah, so we're trying to take we out some... I don't know if we're trying to take out... She said undesirable could be people messing with the land, or... My guess is probably animals of some kind. Coyotes or wolves or something like that, probably. God damn it, these rabbits are at it. Oh, rabbits, okay. Come on. Once and for all. Well, I'm not really Come on, then. one to, to shoot. Of yours to good use. Oh, okay. I don't really want to shoot rabbits. Look at them. I don't want to shoot that. <laughs> Damn, she gets cruel. She really don't give a fuck. Like, she really don't care. Damn. She's like, kill those bastards, they're rabbits. We should but they're probably them. eating There's her her crops, like her carrots or vegetables or something, so. You can't have that, I guess. I guess it's I understand. I mean, I don't, because I obviously don't own a ranch, but never easy off the land I understand like her frustration, I suppose. A lady of I have a feeling these two like each other. Like, she's letting us in the house to rest and fixing us up something to drink. Damn 
Aha, uh -huh, here we go. I figured there's gonna be some coyote somewhere involved. All right, let's go get him. Hold L2 and press R3 to activate Dead Eye. Not too far for Dead Eye, but Dead Eye basically is just slow motion, and you can there, you can target them and you can aim and I guess stuff like that. And there's a meter for it and all that good stuff. That was in the dead games, if I remember correctly. And oh, damn, there's a lot of them here. They're going for the chicken coop. Oh my god. Holy shit, they actually have chickens in their mouth. Look at that. Oh, and I'm gonna get this one. Hold on. Move. They actually have chickens in their mouth walking around. Drop my chicken, bitch. Come on. Dude, that's actually crazy, though. Oh, did I shoot the chicken? I think I just shot the chicken. One more. He is booking it. Uh, I kind of didn't want to let him get away, but... Oh, is that him? It might be. It might be, it might not be, but he's going to get it either way. You're going to get that work. I, I promised Bonnie you know, you can she was going to get her $15 worth out of me. So. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man. I'm interested to, to see what he says ranch, about that. That's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I was interested to see what he says about that plan because it was so dumb. It's almost like something else had to, some sort of ulterior motive had to be you, in play Mr. there. All right, I'll hitch up here and call it a night. Miss Bonnie. Hey, if that was a date, which again, I don't know the interest between these two. Pretty fun first date. Okay, so we can sleep in the bed to save the game, and then you wake up six hours later um, from when you sleep. So you can kind of flip if you want nighttime or daytime, basically. Also, I have extra ammo, which is always good in the trunk. So we'll go ahead and get some shut eye here and call it a night. Here in day one, let the sun come up, and then we will go from there. Also, save the game, which is nice. Day two here on the ranch, and uh, looks like we have another uh, mission here with the Bonnie. So we'll go over and take a look at that. As you see, there's not a lot of people here at this ranch, I will say, <clears throat> for as much houses, stores, and all these different things that they've built here. There's not too many people here. I guess there's a decent amount. They could be out too, who knows. So, all right, so let's see what old Miss Bonnie has in store for us now. Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh. How are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and... By telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. 
We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Oh, so we're gonna race? Okay. Now we cannot lose this. But, but, the horse racing is a bit, um, what's the word? The Clunky, I guess. Three, I guess I have to get used to it again. One, but to me, it is go. a little bit clunky. So here we go. Now we cannot lose this race. All, if we're trying to put any moves on this lady, this beautiful young lady, Miss McFarlane, then uh, you kind of can't lose this one. But yeah, it's not too bad with the horses. It's just a little bit clunky. It is a 14-year-old game, but it's not terrible. As uh, If you look in the bottom left, that blue... Um, Whatever that, whatever you want to call it, the blue bar, I guess, on the bottom is, see it's making us, I don't want to do that. Uh, the blue bar there, that is our horse's yeah. stamina, and then the one on the right, the red one, I believe is our health, if I had to guess. The horse will run faster on the roads with horse trails. Now, if we, if that bar goes all the way down, I believe that we will get thrown off the horse. See you at the finish line! So, obviously don't want that to happen. This is actually a pretty close race right now. I wish she would shut the Let's fuck go. up and just race, but... Pretty good race right now. I don't think this horse... Doesn't feel great, honestly. I don't think this horse has enough in it. I wonder if you can win this race, because every time I'm getting close, I'm out of stamina. Do I have to... Keep the stamina more, maybe? Let's see. It's just hard to pass her. Every time I get close, it's like the horse just doesn't have enough. I mean, we're using her horse, so maybe maybe she's uh, setting us up with a dud. Dude, I'm so close. Now I want to fucking beat this Come bitch. Because I don't like the way she's shit-talking. I really don't like the way she's sh fucking shit-talking. Man, sh this, ra this horse sucks. I need to get a different horse and this come back and hold her ass. Close. This is going to be close. Oh, here we go. This is like watching F1. Just cut her off. Now, this is not like watching F1. This would not be allowed on the track, what I'm doing, but... I don't care. We're not in the F1 track. Oh, wow. We're getting some distance on her. I didn't think you could beat her. But we might actually be able to. You just kind of got to... Keep it in the middle, it feels like. Are you saving the you hold it a little bit, let it go a little bit. Hold it a little bit, let it go a little bit. It's like a... You pace it. I bet you're and to we beat her. Words, yeah, yeah, bitch. Let's go. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right, so pick up 20 more fame. And now we have a mission with Bonnie, and now we have a miss mission with Marshall Johnson here in Armadillo. So we'll go check out... Let's go check out the mission with... Um, with the marshal, since that's what she asks us to do. Figure why not? Now is he far? Let's see the map here. Probably not, right? I mean, oh, he is kind of far. Oh, because we're at McFarland's Ranch. We gotta go down here to Armadillo. Okay, so he is kind of far. So let's see if they'll let us grab that horse here. Hopefully, can we borrow it? Oh, no, it's not over here. Well, oh, okay, hold on. There's one right here. Let's see if we can take this one. Perfect. Now, can you set waypoints and they kind of tell you how to get get to places here? Let me see. Oh, perfect.
perfect. You never know with these older games when certain things started, but that'll certainly work. So let's go check out the Marshall. Now, <clears throat> I will try to probably cut out some of the fat within this game. So, you know, some of the stuff like going from mission to mission, things that kind of don't, you know, matter as much. Um, I'll try and cut some of that out um, because you guys probably don't want to see me just... Oh, cool, so it kind of gives you directions on the top there. Let's go. You know, see me just ride around and do nothing. But if something funny happens along the way or anything like that, I'll certainly record it. Because in a Rockstar game, there's bound to be some crazy shit happening along the way. Well, we got a problem. <laughs> um, so, I kind of thought I was taking a shortcut. And instead of the shortcut, it was just a cliff. So we already killed a horse. No big deal. Um, but we did already kill a horse. So we will probably have to steal one at this rate or make this run, which kind of sucks. So probably going to see if someone comes up and we're just going to take it. Okay, so I just was running to the mission, and something is going on here. What the hell is happening? Alright, let's go down here and check it out. I think he's being chased by... Oh, he's being chased by coyotes. Oh, they killed him. Yeah, they killed him. Alright, well, we'll take what you had on you, I guess. Oh, we got five bucks out of that. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. He only took one bite. He only got bit one time, huh? Interesting. Oh, man. We have finally arrived in Armadillo. That was the worst thing ever. Losing that freaking horse, dude. That was so annoying, but whatever. We got it. We're here. We are in Armadillo. It's like a pretty interesting town. I cannot wait to fuck it up. Alright, let's go check out what the sheriff could, uh... We could interest the sheriff in our duties, potentially. Excuse me. Hey! Hey! You got a visitor! <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. 
course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have them out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Howdy. Let's head over to the. All floor. right, so we are making a deal with uh, with some authority. So clearly, John Marston oh, yeah. wants to get his hands on Mr. Bill Williamson. Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Pretty badly. Uh, Bill Williamson was in Red Dead Redemption too, right? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he was. On the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. <laughs> this guy's not a very good, uh... What is he? Sheriff? Deputy? Whatever he is. Anytime you whistle it. I'm getting after him. Hey! Yeah. It's my horse! So the horse that I... Unfortunately, uh... Kind of killed. Was not mine. That makes me feel better. Somebody else's horse. Oh my god, what if it was Bonnie's horse? Because it was just sitting out in front of her yard. Oh my god, that would be terrible. I'd feel so bad if it was Bonnie's horse. Come on. Oh well. She'll never know. She'll probably know. Honestly. She has a good eye for those things. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Takes us in, pays fifteen dollars for us to get all fixed up, and it doesn't matter. What is our horse doing? Why is it keep walking? We're gonna get lost behind. Yeah, we're gonna get lost here because our horse just keeps walking. We're supposed to be following somebody, and our horse is walking. Okay, here we go. Tail Walton was hideout with Marshall Jones. Yeah, he's the marshal. Okay. All right. Well, we somehow still made. Company boys. Damn. Take cover. We got into a little bit of shit We're here. Way up this hill. Hey, yeah, you over here. And then we uh, on your right. We you. got into some shit here a little bit. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. <laughs> I love how we can just shoot people right in front of a cop. And it's like, whatever. I mean, I guess they are shooting at us, too, but still. So, yeah, we can use the dead eye here. Make sure we get a nice, clean headshot on them. We're going to keep moving up here. That's what's kind of just teaching us how to go through covers and stuff. Got them there. Let's keep on moving up. Looks like we did get hit in the tummy. Got hit in the old tummy a little bit. Two more. Oh, there's one right here. Is he taking out the other one? I thought he said he was. He's kind of useless. 
Alright, yeah, we want him alive. More money? Oh shit. Oh, how the fuck? <laughs> well, hold on, he shot me. How the fuck was I supposed to take him alive? Damn, what am I supposed to do in that scenario? Check in with me next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend, I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah! Come on! Well, we got 20 bucks for that. Damn, look at the carnage that we just caused. Oh, well. <laughs> like I say, oh, well. Yeah, I wa how was I supposed to take him alive? I guess I could have, instead of shooting him, tried to go in and maybe, like, punched him or something and tried to knock him out, I guess, is, is the way I could have done it. Oh, 38 bucks in there. So, um, they're talking about honor right now. So, you can go to, um, is it under journal? No. It said start to get there, but I didn't see how you get to your honor. But there's a, anyway, the honor system. Oh, stats section. Okay. Stats. Crimes. Oh, honor right now, we're a drifter. We're a nobody. But anyway, so um, basically honor is like... If you're doing good, people react to you well in a town. If you're being a piece of shit, people will react to you bad. So we'll kind of see how we go. Um, discovered the Walton's gang outfit. It would like to be treated like one of their gang in Ch Chala Springs. Oh, interesting. So we can kind of do a disguise. Oh. Okay. Um, you can do fast travel, which is nice. We can fast travel to... Let me see here. So we're setting up a basic campsite out of our satchel. Let's see what this does. Bad deeds are noted by the populace, and if you turn road agent, you will find many establishments close their doors to you. How cool is that? You can fast travel to any inhabited location you have discovered. Otherwise, you can place a waypoint anywhere on the territory map and then travel to the nearest road. Wow, okay, so you can travel around this map pretty quickly, which is nice. Because it's a pretty big map. So we got... Different attires here, and it actually show you exactly how you can unlock them. Which is cool. Wearing this high-class attire allows you into the high-stakes poker game in Blackwater. Dude, how cool is that? That you have to wear different stuff for different things. That is just so cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save it here. Man, that is awesome though. This game, attention to detail and everything, just... This is why I love Rockstar games. Um, Alright, so we'll probably end it here for episode 1. We'll continue on with episode 2. Um, in the next one, we'll continue to do submissions. Um, go through Armadillo a little bit. Check it out. If you have any requests for anything you want to see in the comments, any towns as we go along, or anything that you may want to check out that you like from the game that you, when you played it before, or whatever, just let me know. But either way, appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Um, and we'll see you in the next episode. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption.